Okay, this is our uh, this is our announcement time. A lot of things going on. We have our National Day of Prayer this Thursday at noon at the Asbury Church sign on Route 130. Amen. Um, also today we have our special uh, we have our special first Sunday offering. Uh, that is today is for the fellowship fund of the United Methodist Church. If you go into any of the United Methodist homes, you will never be asked to leave if you're out of money. And this fellowship fund provides for that. And every United Methodist Church is asked to get $2.50 per member. And so for our church, it comes out to around $500. So um, that, that is our special offering today. And what else do we have? Our Wednesday Bible studies are on just a, little, a brief hiatus uh, for a season. Stay tuned for that. Uh, we had a, a, a banner month for our Good Neighbor Outreach. I mean, we helped out families and children. Uh, but we gave like over 90 nights uh, in, in, and I just did the April report and you know, God have mercy uh, and help us Jesus. Also, you notice on the back of the bulletin um, the Good Neighbor Outreach received over $7,000 in an offering last week. And most of that came in a $7,000 gift from a friend of the church, a neighbor of the church who really admires what God is doing through this church. And uh, his employment offers a matching gift. So he gave $3,500. His, his employer matched it with another $3,500. So and we're, we're, we're very, <coughs> very grateful for that. Any other shout out announcements? Yes. Uh, Friday night, free concert, the William Allen Middle School in Morristown. What time? Excuse me? What time? What time? 7.30. 7.30. Anyone else? No, I'm missing stuff. Shifting to our, our prayer time and prayer cards in your pews. If you have any special needs, you may write them down and place them in the offering plate. We have just many, many serious needs, extreme serious needs. We continue to pray for Doug. Doug actually had a good day. I spoke to him last night. He had a good day yesterday uh, with, without fever. I, I sent out an email late last night, and um, one of Doug's nurses had COVID. And so Doug has tested that at this point does not have COVID, but Katie does. And I talked to Katie last night, and Katie, you know, is is sick with COVID, and that means she's not able to visit Doug now. And Doug is still recovering from this, this very, very, very serious surgery. And he's undergoing physical therapy, which is very painful. And they're just trying to make it so he can sit and, uh, and just some very basic functions. But we need to keep Doug and Katie and their family, Charlotte, Dutch, and Morley in our prayers. Amen. Other needs, Jim and Marion Hartshorn. Jim is in the hospital. Marion is at home. Again, uh, very, very, very serious needs. And just a, a host of... Uh, other uh, people just, just doctoring with a number of things. You're going to have an opportunity to, to name names when we, when we pray together. And even to lift up your hand if you have a special need or you're aware of somebody else who has a special need. Amen. Help us, Jesus. Amen.
May we comfort the Lord and pray. Amen. God, we said a powerful opening prayer, which I'm going to repeat again. God of abundance and mercy, we thank you for your presence with us today. Open our eyes to see the path before us. Deepen our faith to walk with you upon this path. Strengthen our hearts with courage to embark on the journey. Enlarge our hearts with gratitude for your provision along the way. Teach us these things today, dear Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Make that real in each of our lives, Lord. Pray in your name. And Lord, we, we offer special prayers this morning for, for Doug and Katie, for, for Charlotte and young Doug and Morley, Pray for Jim and Mary, and we, we just have so many people on our hearts and on our minds this morning, loved ones. And Lord, I ask anyone here just to lift a hand if you feel like you need a special touch, or if you know of someone who needs a special touch this morning. We welcome our online people to do this as well, and we welcome you this morning. And Lord, I also invite the people of this congregation just to name names of people who need a special touch this morning. Please say names out loud. Ed, I'm supposed to be named. Sonia. Right. Gwen. Ed, Kate Baptist. Rosalie. Jane. Bruce. Chris. While on others that were calling, Lord, do not pass us by. And on this communion Sunday, help us, Lord, to, to receive you. Your body and blood, this holy sacrament, Lord, help us to be new in you. It is in your name we pray. And Lord, we pray for our nation. We pray for Republicans and Democrats and independents. We pray that you make a way for this nation. We pray that you make a way for the Church of Jesus Christ. Conservative, progressive, and everything in between. Guide us and lead us. And help us to follow you. We ask this in your name. And again, for the special needs that <clears throat> each of us present to you today. Lord, again, we just ask your special touch. 
We love you, Lord, and we need you. And help us to pay attention to you this morning in, in your word and how gracious you were to Peter. And we thank you that you placed this in your word. And we thank you that you want to be, that you are gracious to us as well. We pray for the United Methodist Homes, for the Fellowship Fund. We pray for our upcoming National Day of Prayer and our gathering. I'll also, Lord, our day of fasting and prayer this Tuesday and our prayer meeting at 7. Help us, Lord. It's in your name we pray. All God's people say, Amen. Amen. May we continue to worship God with our offering.